Hi, my name is Jamie Tyler and I'm a curriculum developer here at MuleSoft. And in this video, I'd like to introduce you to AnyPoint Flex Gateway. Universal API management is not a single product, but instead a collection of new and existing capabilities to meet changing customer needs no matter where APIs are built, what language they're built in, or what environment they're deployed to. Universal API management is capable of accelerating application delivery built by any team on any platform, implementing, managing, and securing any architecture at scale from monolith to microservice, deploying to and monitoring in any environment when, with a consistent experience. MuleSoft provides full lifecycle API management for any architecture in any environment. Traditional Mule applications can continue to take advantage of AnyPoint Mule Gateway. Microservices running in Kubernetes or another environment with Istio can take advantage of AnyPoint Service Mesh by layering transparently as a sidecar proxy. But now with AnyPoint Flex Gateway, all other deployment options are covered where a standalone gateway is needed. AnyPoint Flex Gateway is an ultra-fast API gateway designed to manage and secure APIs running anywhere. Flex Gateway uses a modern lightweight architecture to provide responsive experiences. By being able to deploy Flex Gateway anywhere, you can extend a consistent experience across your entire API landscape. This includes ensuring the security of all your APIs. You can use a declarative configuration file to also automate your CI-CD pipeline. There are two modes for registering and managing Flex Gateway. Connected mode is the API manager experience you are used to, where you will actively manage, secure, and observe all APIs in any point platform. Local mode enables a highly customizable experience, including local declarative configuration files, to seamlessly integrate with existing CI CD pipelines and other systems. Now let's jump into Flex Gateway's architecture and deployment options. Flex Gateway is made up of three components the controller, an Envoy proxy, and FluentBit. Envoy proxy is a modern, high performance, small footprint, edge, and service proxy. Envoy is most comparable to software load balancers such as Nginx. The controller is made up of the agent that interacts with the controller plane, the object store, and the configuration service that talks to Envoy. So the configuration service translates the parts of Flex Gateway into Envoy's language. Fluentbit is a configurable logging and metrics processor tool for sending logs or saving logs locally to a file or any of your logging needs. Flex Gateway can be deployed as a Docker container, a Linux service, or a Kubernetes ingress controller. Now let's head over to uh, screen share and get hands-on with AnyPoint Flex Gateway. After I run this, this startup with this, this custom folder parameter, it will create the folder for us. And we can see the other three files that we obtained from registration. So what we'll want to do next is head into this custom folder. And we have nothing in there to start with. What your Flex Gateway will do is listen for any changes in this folder. So let's take a look at what an API definition would look like in Flex Gateway and, and what it will be doing. So I've opened a, I've opened a, a text editor here and I have some sam a sample API for us to work with. And I just want to take a step through and look at a couple of the items here. The kind for the configuration file will define what kind of configuration file it is. So in our case, this will be an API instance configuration file, but we also might have some other types of configuration files for our Flex Gateway. We'll have a name for this, this configuration. And then for an API instance, we'll have items specific to the specification for an API instance. So. We'll have our incoming address that we'll, we'll use to, to make requests to the gateway. And then we'll have services associated with the gateway that will be on the outgoing side or the upstream side. In our case, we're just using this little um, sample API that we can use out on the internet 
jsonplaceholder.typecode.com. And we're going to request on um, the secure port 443 there. And then next we'll make rules here. So for, for routing rules, we could just limit what we're allowing it to go to. So if, for example, if I wanted to only reach the to-dos part of this upstream service, we could limit only the to-dos part could be reached. Or there's also orders on this sample API and users. So if we wanted to limit what our gateway would actually be able to reach, we could put in a rule here and and, and limit what the gateway could actually reach. So I'm going to I'm going to take this API definition and I'm going to go back to our terminal. I've copied it and I'm in my custom folder so I'm going to make a file called api.yaml and open it in vim. Okay, so we notice over here our Flex Gateway has immediately noticed that we've saved a new file in our configuration directory. And it's processed that file and it it's added it's added our to-dos listener to our Flex Gateway. Now if we want to test that, curl localhost was 8081. And let's see if we can reach that to do's directory. Okay, so the response we're getting here is actually the upstream response from that sample API. And we can see we get um, a bunch of to do's, actually a large amount of to do's. Um, if we just do a request to our gateway, and then we add in the, um, the endpoint to do's. So if we wanted a specific one, we can request to do's one and you can do two. So you can kind of see that we've now taken this upstream API and made it available for uh, requests locally from our, our Flex Gateway running on this machine. If you'd like to learn more about Flex Gateway, keep an eye out for more content coming to training.mulesoft.com. Also, I'd recommend checking out all the other great Friends of Max videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.